What's up guys? Thanks for checking back in here. Uh, we are getting pretty close to firing this thing up. I would imagine uh, probably two videos or so we'll get this thing uh, started over. I'm gonna try and keep his next videos kind of short. I mean, I just think that 10 minute video of torquing and you know, that stuff is just not very entertaining. Uh, it's kind of watching some of the video and although it gives you, if you're doing the exact this exact project it's informative, in my opinion. Kind of gives you some ideas of things to do and what you need to do and torque specs, that kind of stuff. But it just feels like it kind of drags on. So I'm gonna try and keep this a little bit short. That way we can get to the end goal, which is to getting this thing started and getting it down the road. So uh, this video, we'll get the intake manifold set on, cleaned up, set on, torqued on, and just a few miscellaneous things done. Uh, next video is going to be installing the ignition, the Protronics uh, ignition, Ectron Protronics Igniter 1 ignition. Uh, then also we got to bypass the resistor wire, a ballast resistor wire and ignition. Uh, that'll be in the next video. And then the, then basically just changing the oil, uh, your basic maintenance stuff, and then we're going to be getting this thing started and then getting, you know, driving it a bit. We have some nice weather coming up. We're talking mid-70s. So I'm anxious to get this done and get it down the road, just kind of see how it, how it rides. I do want to show you, I probably should have looked at this a little bit earlier before I pulled the heads, but it's always good. Definitely found the antifreeze leak and it was the intake. Now, if you look on this manifold, your two water ports, basically your one water ports here on one side. The back side is right there you'll see is blocked. Now that's not that's supposed to be like that so it's per around a brock everywhere you look that's the way it's supposed to be no big deal right but you can see where you have good gasket basically nice kind of shiny you can see where the gasket was nice all the way around so you know that it wasn't leaking there these are just your combust. i would call them combustion ports i don't know what the technical term is but that's where your uh, air and fuel get dumped into but let's spin this around. This is the passenger back side where I had all the antifreeze leaking anyway. Obviously you can see here, nice and shiny. Like you can see gasket material. You know this one wasn't leaking. Those all look good. Right here. If you look, you can see good gasket. You can see the blue off the old Felpro gaskets right there. Like it had good contact. Earth all is hunky dory there. Well, you come down here look at this you can see it was leaking here and this would be exactly where the leak was coming from so that's our leak we're going to install the intake now uh now the intake like i said it's an out of brock 2121 aluminum rpm performer intake uh let's turn this off so i have that it does recommend their out of brock gaskets which have the little uh o-ring type seals around the edges here so we'll be installing those. They recommend using this stuff. I don't can't pronounce it correctly, but Adabrock Gas Ganich. Who knows? Uh, it gets installed on the head, and then on the back of the gasket, and then you put them together. Basically, that just helps keep the gaskets in place when you install the intake. Uh, they also recommend around your water ports to the thin layer of RTV, which would be on this side, uh, the actual intake side, right there. So put a thin layer there, both sides, glue the gaskets to the heads, and the RTV here. No uh, cork gaskets. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is pretty well self-explanatory. I mean, the directions are pretty easy to follow. So this is basically just like a glue that holds everything into place. All right, these gaskets don't matter which way they go on. I mean, as in front or back. What you want to make sure is you have your O-ring gasket seal up as it goes against the head. We'll go ahead and put our gasket RTV on the front and back. All right, got her back on, at least sitting here. Or just a couple a bolt in every corner 
just to make sure that I'm where I'm supposed to be. So we're getting our bolts in here. Alright, it says torque these to 18 to 20 foot-pounds. So when they give me a range, what I like to do is just pick the center. So we're going to go 20 or 19 foot-pounds. Nineteen well guys that wraps up the, the intake manifold as you can see here I kind of went ahead and did a little more work other than just the intake manifold kind of give you a shot here so it's on plug wires are on distributors and you'll see more of this next video but it's coming together I'm getting pretty excited to, to get this thing started and just kind of test it out uh, once we get this kind of confirmed to be working good and running smooth and we'll get the transmission out for a clutch but that'll be uh probably a couple weeks down the road i would imagine but thanks for hanging out i appreciate you guys watching these videos uh, if you like these videos uh, subscribe to my channel like the video as well uh, we have a lot more coming up you know whether it be with the mustang the jeep the truck i have some work i to get done on our pontoon boat which will be kind of different so i think that'll be fun i got to rebuild the carbs on it uh but we have to like may mid may is when uh, my dock slip opens so I don't have to have that done until then, but you know, I want to have to get it done, get the boat cleaned up. Like I so said, we have some camper stuff to do, I and mean, we have all kinds of cool stuff that, you know, it's going to keep us busy through the summer. So come back, like my channel, and if you have any questions or comments of these videos, stuff you want to see, stuff you don't want to see, if they're too boring, if I need to do something different, make them longer, make them shorter, whatever. Any suggestions I'm open to. I want to grow this channel. I want to have a good, you know, just a good informative channel and you know any suggestions that you guys have i am open to hear them so thanks for hanging out uh this is all today for sinclair garage we'll see you guys next time